being unsure of where to start when it comes to learning a new skill is not unusual. How to choose the right materials or products or brands as well as the right painting techniques can be challenging. The fact that you are here watching this means that you are looking for a better way of creating your art, specific in painting on silk or other natural fabrics using the Indonesian batik art. I have learned this beautiful painting technique five years ago and I have been teaching it in the last three years. I am happy because I am able to help many of my students finding the proper way of learning batik from the start. No matter if you have zero experience or if you are at advanced level, you will learn something useful from this course. One of my favorite moments is when I'm seeing my students smiling when they create their own designs of colorful and elegant wearable silk scarf for the very first time. And not only that, they can also use the same painting techniques to create their home decor items or fabric paintings to hang on the wall. For advanced students who already have some knowledge of painting, whether it is pencil drawing or watercolor or oil and acrylic, you will learn in this course how to paint on fabrics such as silk or cotton and with the same technique of batik art, you can then be able to paint on all other natural fabrics. For silk painters and textile artists, you will learn a new technique of painting on silk and on other natural fibers without having to steam your work at the end to set the dye. In this course, I will guide you through the steps from the start to finish in order for you to achieve the most efficient way of working with batik art. In particular, you are going to learn to paint on silk and cotton fabric. You will learn how to choose the materials which will suit your project whether it is for wearing, decorating or traditional painting. You will learn how to prepare your fabrics and getting them ready for painting. You will learn how to stretch the fabrics onto two different kinds of stretcher frames. You will also learn the comparison between the two frames and when to use which frame for your convenience. You will learn how to create your design for the fabric. And in this step, I have included some tips for absolute beginners and art lovers who are still doubting if they could ever draw. I have a solution for you to get it started and overcome your fear of drawing. You will learn mixing colors from the three primary colors, red, yellow and blue and also black. I will teach you how to mix dye color and to make 12 different colors or more by using my color chart which I have personally created for my students to simplify the mixing colors theory. You no longer need to be afraid or confused when mixing your colors looking into this simple color chart. You will also learn how to use the chanting tool which is an Indonesian instrument or you can call it a wax pen as I do. You will be able to use this wax pen and applying wax on your choice of fabrics to create intricate patterns in combination of lines and dots. You will learn how to apply wax on the fabrics by using different kind of brushes and how to paint or dye your fabrics professionally. Finally, you will learn how to remove the wax from the fabrics permanently and getting your handmade products 
ready to be used. Ultimately, I don't want to show you how I paint, but I want to teach you how to paint. At the end of this course, together we will create three items using Indonesian Tatik art. The first item we will make is a wearable silk habotai scarf in the size of 42 by 42 centimeters. The second item we are going to make is a cotton placemat for your dining table in the size of 39 by 34 centimeters. There will be some easy sewing techniques which you can learn here too. The third item is a cotton fabric which you can use for home decorations. With this batik technique, you can furthermore expand into a larger selection of fabrics, not only silk and cotton, but all the natural fibers such as gul, linen or rayon. And you can also paint on larger size of materials which can be tailored or create unique designs of garments. So yeah, I'm confident that using this technique you can create and make endless idea of products not only for yourself but it can be a special handmade gift for your loved ones. Moreover, if you are not only an art lover but also an entrepreneur, you can bring this learning experience to the next level and make yourself a handmade art and craft business selling your creative products which is super unique and cannot be found anywhere else but at your brand. On the other hand, you are not only learning a new skill, you can master it and teach others as well. If you love people and love teaching like I do, this is the way to go. I have ensured that I included many tips in each and every lesson during the course so that you can learn quickly and avoid making unwanted mistakes which I have come across over the years. My goal is to help you learn this painting technique with a proper guidance and for you to get out the most useful information as you can in the valuable time that you spend on the course. So if this is what you are looking for, let's start our beautiful art journey together. And I will see you in the next lesson.